Starry Night is an iconic painting from the 19th century. The Eiffel Tower is an iconic landmark in Paris. And this, this is where Hello Tomorrow meets Hello Yesterday. This is a work of art created by an artificial intelligence. And who knows, maybe we'll see it hanging in the Louvre someday. I'm Dr. Eric Risser, and I'm here to tell you about the next big breakthrough in AI, artificial imagination. But let's start with a problem. First, there was the pixel, then the polygon. After that, well, it was really just a lot more pixels and polygons. You see, art creation has gone through an evolution over the last 20 years. And as the quality has increased, so have the costs. This has gotten so bad that Avatar took four years and cost $237 million to create. This was much worse for Grand Theft Auto V. The $80 billion video game industry spends on average 61% of their project budgets on digital media creation. The reason is that it's still an almost entirely manual process. Our goal is to half the time and half the cost of this process through automation. We have built an artificial intelligence system that can mimic human-like artistic creativity. It's based on 20 years of research in computer graphics, deep learning, and computer vision. My PhD was about bringing these together to create machine creativity. But what is that really? Let me show you with a banana. Artematics is an example-based way of making art. That means you give the computer an example of something you want, and it makes more. So every banana is different. Here we gave our system this forest floor material top center, and it grew out enough to cover an actual forest. But Automatics doesn't just create a whole lot of stuff. Controllability is key, and you have to always keep the artist in the loop. So now instead of painting with colors, artists are painting with content. Artematics isn't just stuck doing images, though. It can work on any kind of artistic data. These two green 3D models were given as input, and then our system imagined all the blue ones. And it's not just mixing things around, it's coming up with new stuff. Notice how the two green uh, input ears both have lobes, but not all of the outputs do. See, this isn't just a little trick or gimmick. This is a disruptive new way of making art. This is Artematics. And the beauty is we aren't just solving the biggest problem in several massive industries, but we're solving the personal pain of the artists themselves. We automate the kind of work they don't want to do. Pin your thousandth brick in a wall, your 50th background character, the really tedious and mundane jobs. So where are we at with it? Well, we're a little over a year old, and we've been focused on validation. We have done three trips out to the US uh, for a combined three months, where we talked to everybody. In fact, on our last trip, we won NVIDIA's Early Stage Challenge, the most prestigious international competition in our industry. Because we did our homework, we've identified that video games are our beachhead, and we've already achieved significant traction in this space. We've been working with an iconic AAA game franchise for the last eight months on a secret project, as well as one of the top three console manufacturers. In fact, we recently just turned down our first acquisition offer. And the reason is we've set our sights far beyond gaming. We'd like to solve the same problems in other industries, as well as the problems of tomorrow. We're going to do this through Artematics Cloud, which can address the entire industry, big to small. We've got one product with two unique value propositions. One, we solve the problem that art costs too much and it takes too long. In this regards, we're a painkiller. But you see, we're also a vitamin. We can take gaming to the next level. Imagine a world hundreds of times larger than you've ever seen before. Every time you meet a new person, <clears throat> you fight a new bad guy, they're different. We're going to take the richness and variety of the real world and bring it into the digital realm. We're going to monetize through a software as a service business model, and we've got an awesome team that's going to make this a reality. Our CEO has founded three companies to date. The first one was in the laser communication space and had a large exit to Agilent Technologies. His second was a video game studio. Myself, the CTO, well, I created a lot of this technology during my master's at Columbia University and my PhD at Trinity College Dublin. Just to be clear, we control all of the IP, and we're protecting it through a combination of patents and trade secrets. We've got a wonderful team which rounds us out nicely, as well as a rock star set of advisors, including famous artists from industry, famous professors in our space, and famous founders in our space. In conclusion, Artematics and artificial imagination are the future of art. They're going to change the way you see the world, and they might just change the way you see yourself.